Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Bless Your Coupons. My name is Joni and today we are going to be going over my November totals uh, using cashback apps. So grab a cup of coffee, tea, hot cocoa, whatever it is you like to drink and stay tuned. Okay guys, so today we're gonna be going over my cash back totals for the month of November. And this is just something I like to do at the end of each month, just to kind of give you an idea of what I'm actually getting back, how much I'm saving and how I'm doing. And it also is an encouragement to me uh, to be able to see what I'm actually uh, bringing home versus what I'm actually spending. So this is something I like to share with you just because I think it's important for you to also, um, as much as you can, kind of keep track of this and encourage yourself to see how well you are really doing and why really we are doing this. This is a huge money saver for our families. It gets us the things we need for as little as possible. And I think that is a fantastic thing. So I wanna encourage you to do that. And one of the ways I wanna encourage you is by actually giving you some numbers so you can really see what this is doing. So I did fantastic in November. Um, it was a little bit of a shorter month for me because I took about 10 days off and um, I actually didn't get to level four. I usually get to all four levels. I let quite a few bonuses go, um, but that's okay. I knew I was gonna do that. I planned it out. Um, and I still did really, really well. So I wanna go over that with you and just give you an idea of how I did for this month. So to start off, um, and you'll see this right away when I tell you how much I spent, um, just how lower the totals were, um, but I spent $278.58 uh, out of pocket. So much lower than last month. I think last month was more like I wanna say almost 500, not quite, but almost. So I even spent less out of pocket. Um, but I got back from Ibotta $195.98, and then $18.25 of that was bonuses. Now remember, like I said in the beginning, uh, I let several bonuses go this month just because I knew I wasn't gonna be able to work up for them and that kind of a thing. So $18.25 in bonuses and like I said, letting some of those go. So that was really, really great. Um, I also got back from Shopkick $52.50. This is my second month using Shopkick and I have loved, loved, loved that app. It has really been great. And when you combine Shopkick with Ibotta rebates, uh, with coupons, when you're able to stack all of those, I mean, we are really getting this stuff for um, either really, really cheap or money makers. And that is the great thing about these apps. They stack. You can use one, uh, you can get a product and you can redeem to several different apps they actually stack and that's really how we're maximizing our savings. Now some of them are not gonna let you use coupons or you're not supposed to. So there may be some um, some tweaking you have to do there, but yeah, $52.50 back from Shopkick. And I love Shop Shopkick because even if you don't buy anything, just if you go into the store, open that app up, you get money uh, points just for opening it up. If you start scanning things, you're actually earning money just for scanning things. So it's a, it's a great app and don't forget, in the description box below, there are refer referral codes for all of these that I'm gonna be talking about, so make sure you're signed up for them. The next one is Swagbucks, and I got back $35 from Swagbucks. Now, I've mentioned this several times before, and I'm gonna keep mentioning it because it's a great, great deal, but you really want to make sure that you are sharing your referral code for Swagbucks with others. There are times I'm earning money and I'm not buying anything. And the reason I'm able to do that is because with Swagbucks referral program, you are always earning uh, money back on what other people are doing. So fantastic there. Yep, so $35 from Swagbucks. And then coupons.com. This one is still a new one. Um, as many of you know, Saving Star shut down and uh, combined with coupons.com. So uh, this one is new, but what I love about it is, um, when they do freebies so many times you know so the way it works is you are um instead of actually using a coupon you can redeem to coupons.com and they'll give you the money back whether or not you have that paper coupon so that's a really great deal but a lot of times they'll do something where they do a freebie like this past month it was uh, the cool whip and the marshmallows and i also think there was um, a snicker bar, snickers bar this past month or maybe it was the month before um but they're not just free they are money makers. So for instance, with the Cool Whip, they were giving a dollar, I'm sorry, $2 back. And uh, 
the cool whip was only a dollar. So in that situation, you can do one of two things. You can um, get get the cool whip for free or, or get the item for free and, and a money maker. Or in this situation, you could have just grabbed two for free because like I said, they were a dollar each and coupons.com was giving back $2. So that's another way you can do it as well. And then I think we were able to turn around and even redeem two. I bought it for a quarter or something like that. And same scenario with the marshmallow. So I'm really, really loving that app. I got back $6.50 um, from coupons.com. And probably it's not much more than that because I'm really at this point only using it, you know, A, if I don't have a paper coupon and B, for those freebies um, because I usually do have the paper coupons and I like paper. So I'm gonna almost always uh, do that instead. So yeah, so I didn't get anything back from Checkout 51. And one of the things I've mentioned uh, many times before is I don't use Checkout 51 a whole lot. I feel like every time I go to use it, um, by the time I get ready to redeem it, all the offers are gone. Um, but I have used it in the past. I have made money uh, from that app. And of course, nothing from Saving Star because um, as of November 30th, they were done. So I am still waiting for my uh, cash back from them. I think I had $13 in my account and um, you can only cash out once you get to 20, but I did submit a ticket or, or whatever it's called or however it works. Um, but basically I, I think I sent them a, a notice or went on the website and just said, you know, I would like to get the cash back. So I haven't got it back yet. I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but hopefully I do get it back and I didn't just lose it. Um, so with what I spent, and the money I got for, back from my Bada Shopkick swag bucks and coupons.com, everything that I bought this month in November, all the stuff you saw, all the different things, that was all free and an $11.40 money maker. So I did not pay anything for all of the things that I got this past month. And I've shared with you before that we live on a very tight budget. We have a ministry income. And so uh, we, we have a very strict budget that we stick to and I don't go over that, but I'm getting way more uh, than what I'm able to budget because of these cashback apps. So I want to encourage you, if you don't use these apps, do it. I hear so many times, you know, people saying, well, you know, once I get paid, we'll do this. Or, if you don't have to, don't struggle. And I understand there are times when you're going to have to, and, and that's kind of the way life works. But I'm encouraging you, if you don't have to, don't. And these cashback apps are a way for you to provide what your family needs and not have to wait for the next paycheck because this stuff is paying for itself. I got all of this stuff for free and an $11 money maker. That's fantastic. And as I told you in the beginning, that wasn't even um, hitting, going as far as I typically go in a month. So I just want to encourage you get in these cashback apps and really use them. Maybe you have signed up and you, you know, you're saying, Joni, I, I can't sign up. I can't use your referral code. I've already done so, but I'm not really using it. Use it. I, I, I am doing these videos to show you how to use these cashback apps and how to uh, combine them with coupons and stack them on top of each other so that you can get what your family needs for completely free. And if not completely free pennies, as low as possible um, and it's it's doable it's real it's not a gimmick it's not you know something well she can do it but I can't No, you can do this and I am here trying to show you how and help you I'd love to answer your questions I'd love to help you in any way I can I've you know people in my town obviously had them in my home and just sat down with them and said this is how you do it so I really want to encourage you to do that but if you're not signed up for any of these cashback apps. The referral links are in the description back box below, so I would encourage you to do that. And um, also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, like this video, share it with your friends, all that stuff. Uh, I really appreciate that. That's how my channel grows. I'm a very small YouTuber right now, but because of you, I am growing and I am able to share more of this content with more people and I'm really excited about that. So um, it's the beginning of December. I am really excited about what December holds. I always use November and December to stock up my pantry as much as possible because foods are on sale and we have coupons and we have these um, rebates and all of these things. So I, I really spent a lot of time in November stocking up. I have three turkeys in my fridge. Freezer. I know that sounds crazy, but I do. I have a big family and we will make all kinds of things with those. And uh, yeah, so I just want to encourage you to get started doing this. And in the comments below, let me know how you did. I had a few subscribers reach out to me last month and say, that was really cool. 
I'm gonna start keeping track of what I make and I would encourage you to do that. But let me know, how did you do in November and what are your plans going into December um, as far as getting started and doing this if you're not already. And hey, if you're not, um, if you haven't watched my I Bought a Haul video, um, actually it's from yesterday, uh, the first day of December, there is a giveaway going on on that video. I'm giving away a Walmart gift card to help you get started earning money and getting the stuff you need for free. So make sure you watch that video, enter that giveaway. That'll be open for about a week. And then I'll announce the winner probably at the end of next week. But I'm so glad you stopped by. I'm so glad to have shared this content with you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll share uh, with your friends and family. And I really wanna hear from you. What did you save in November? Let me know. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by and I will see you guys again. Bye.